Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with, if I could choose only one work by Composer X, it would have to be work P. Well, Composer X is Sir Michael Tippett. What a character he was, let me tell you. And work P, well, begins with the letter P. It's his piano concerto. Some of you have suggested that it should be the opera The Midsummer Marriage, and I adore the opera The Midsummer Marriage. I mean, I've seen two productions of it, which I consider myself very lucky to have encountered, one at the New York City Opera, the other in San Francisco when I was in grad school in the 80s. And when I was in grad school in the 80s, I saw The Midsummer Marriage, and I wrote to him telling him just how how glorious, I thought that opera was. And he wrote back to me, inviting me to join him at the world premiere in Boston, um, the, the American premiere, I guess it was, of of the, uh, the the Mask of Time. is really kind of a wild last piece, which I enjoyed very much, actually. It's kind of crazy, like most of his late music, but it's his biggest, most impressive choral oratorio type work. And it has to my mind, the most unresonant and completely ridiculous line of prose ever set to music. Um, And of course, he, this being tippet, he gets the stress wrong, you know, because he didn't really care about things like that. In his vocal lines, the line is, what's it all about, asks the dainty lacewing, her mandibles wet with the juice excreted by her own ovipositor. Now there's a line to set to music, isn't it? And the way he got what, what the way he said it was, you know, her mandibles wet with the juice excreted by her own ovipositor. And I asked him about that. I said, "What the hell were you thinking?" And he's like, "Well, you know, whatever." We had a very nice lunch. I gave him my grandmother's recipe for cabbage soup. Colin Davis was there. It was really kind of fun. It really was. And he was an unbelievable character, an amazing character. And it was a privilege to have the opportunity to meet him. Anyway, why did I choose why did I choose the Piano Concerto as his most characteristic work, his most typical and fabulous piece to survive if all else was destroyed, including the Midsummer Marriage, which would kill me. It really would. Well, here's the bottom line. Uh, The the Piano Concerto actually shares the same sound world as The Midsummer Marriage. That is the same lyricism, uh, the same sort of the use of piano and Celesta, you know, duetting with each other, that sort of magic music that he called it, that sort of enchanted world. It's all there. And it's a little bit transitional in that it's heading towards the more thorny and acerbic language of of King Priam and the Concerto for Orchestra and his 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 what you might call middle period pieces, um, so there is that anticipation of things to come. But but there's that unique lyricism that's just so beautiful, and I think frankly often helpful when it is not accompanied with these strange words that Tippett wedded so much of his music to. Now, I don't mind his crazy libretti. I really don't. I mean, they are a little bit wacky. And the way he sets the words is a little bit strange, and it doesn't it doesn't put me off. It really doesn't. But on the other hand, um, it's not entirely necessary, um, and it is an acquired taste. And I know a lot of people probably wouldn't want to acquire it. And so my feeling is, let's make it easy on ourselves. And it is a masterpiece, and it's just a shame that it doesn't get played more. I've only seen it performed once. Emmanuel Axe had it in his repertoire, and he performed it fairly frequently for a while. Um, It's a pity he didn't get an opportunity to record it. It's just such, such lovely music. And there's nothing like it. There's absolutely nothing like it in the piano repertoire. It's closest analog, though it doesn't sound anything like it, might be Beethoven's Fourth Concerto, one of those pieces that really turns the piano into a singing instrument. And what Tippett's concern was when he wrote The Midsummer Marriage and the works that surround it was that idea of, you know, he wrote a little book of essays called Contracting into Abundance. He wanted his music to be effusive and lyrical and and rich with song and very humane. And I think that says something about the man. I really do. I mean, having met him, I'm sure it does. And I think that this this particular work has uh, a lyrical beauty that's really very, very special. And for that reason, um, that is the one. 
And I know there may be other people who have other suggestions, but I really think that we'll, we'll do quite well if we say that the Piano Concerto is the most characteristic work of Tippett, um, the most Tippettudian, if you want to call it that. And, and uh, if you haven't heard it, you should give it a listen. It's really an extraordinary work and, and very, very unique. So keep on listening, friends. Thanks so much for joining me. Take care.